Hello everybody, this is Mr. Bowman. Today we're going to be looking at the Alex Hoppeck angles of intersecting secants and tangents. So looking at this, we have these, uh, they're actually chords, but you see how it plays along here. So the trick with these ones is to remember and check where the intersection point is. Is it inside the circle or is it outside of the circle? And depending on which one you're looking at here will change a little bit about how you approach these. So this one is inside the circle, so let's fill in what we know. We know VW, so over here, is 49 degrees, the measure of that arc. And then the measure of arc XY over here is 41 degrees. All right, and we're trying to find the measure of XZY, so we're trying to look for this one right here. All right, now remember these are vertical, so uh, these are uh, they're going to be the same. Regardless, they're going to be congruent uh, or equal, actually, in this case measurement purposes. Um, but So make sure you're not looking for these side ones, which will require you to do 180 minus our answer because they are supplementary. But we are looking for the ones in the middle here, so that makes it nice and easy. So for this, we're going to um, take our arc measurements here and add them together and divide by 2. So you're going to add whenever that is inside that point. or inside, The point is inside the circle, excuse me. So we have 41 and 49 for a total of 90 degrees divided by 2. So we get 45 degrees as our final answer. Okay. So both of these are 45 degrees. Okay. Now this one, we have two secants here. And these are uh, the intersection point for this one <coughs> is outside of our circle. So I'm going to do something very similar, but with a small change. So um, we know in this case, this angle is actually given to us now is 36 degrees, and CD is 39 degrees. Okay, and we're trying to find the arc outside now. So this one, since it's outside, instead of going to angle plus angle divided by 2, we're going to do the, sorry, angle, the arc plus the arc divided by 2. It's going to be arc minus arc divided by 2. So I'm going to go ahead and call this one x degrees. So this is bigger because it's further away. So it's x degrees minus 39 degrees divided by 2 equals our angle measurement, which is 36 degrees. Okay. So now since the x is over here, it's a little bit trickier, but it's still not too bad. So what I'm going to do moving over here, I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 and have x minus 39 equals 2 times 36 so it equals 72 degrees. Then we just need to add that 39 over. So 72 plus 39 gives us 111 degrees. Okay. So in this case, the measure of arc AB is 111 degrees.